Hi, in this clip we will talk about Kerasuba, the integer multiplication algorithms. It is a divine conquer algorithm. Uh, the, the idea is quite similar to Strassen's matrix multiplication that we will talk about in class. So I, I think this, this is a good review. Okay, so let's think about uh, an integer multiplication. But we, for the input, we are given to n bit integers and we want to multiply them so think about n as something big not just uh, 32 or 64 but something like a, a thousand maybe 10,000 bits and and this is uh, something that uh, you want to do if you want to do crypto I think um, so let's think about let's uh, look at a naive method for multiplying integers so suppose you have two integers let's call it a and b and you want to multiply them what what do you do okay so you basically look at the last bit if it is one then you have you have one copy of A here, right? And then you look at the next bit. If it is zero, then you ignore it. And if it is one, then you have another copy of A here. Like that. And you keep on checking bits of B. Suppose you have another one at this point you're gonna have another copy of A here right and then you add them all to get the output and if this is n bits then the output would be 2 n bits Okay, so let's let's think about the running time of this algorithm. Okay. Um, what do you have to do? So you look at all the bits in B that would take uh, O of n time, and you need to add. So so that doesn't take much, right? But the actual work is this part, which for which uh, you add maybe at most n o of n n bit integers if you add in a, in a, in a in a naive way then for each pair of integer you you spend time o n so this give you o n square time algorithm okay so now let's try to use divide and conquer to speed up this computation. To use divide and conquer, we have to think about how to uh, divide and how to conquer, right? So let's look at the problem again. You have A. n bits and you have b another n bits so how, how how are you gonna divide okay so you wanna divide you wanna work on n bits input right and you wanna divide it somehow so that it become something bit something bits multiplication so the obvious way is to try to uh, do n bits uh, with uh, n over two bit integers. Okay, so we we will try to solve this with n, n over two bit integer integer multiplication. So how 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 can you do that? So 
which 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 part of the input should be in n n over two bits? So it's like that. So we divide this into two n over two bits. Okay, n over two bit integers, and you and we multiply them. So let's try to do some calculation. Okay. Um, so let's say let's call this uh, a b c d e and f. Okay. So a is two to the n over two c plus d. B is two to the n over two e plus f. Oh, now now we, we let's multiply them. So if you multiply a and b, so a and b, a times b, this is equal to. Um, so f and c, so two to the n over two c f plus d f plus two to the n c e plus two to the n over two e and d. Okay, and that's. Uh, the, the solution is uh, final solution is C E plus two to the n over two C F plus E D and D F. Okay. Now we still from from multiplying uh, n to n bit integers, we turn it into uh, multiplying. Uh, multiplying n over 2 bit integers for n, n over 2 bit integers and and uh, so this is the expression but note that this multiplications multiplying with uh, 2 to the n and 2 to the n over 2 this is just bit, bit shift okay so it's not that bad um, so let's let's look at the actual let's look at the picture so the picture would look like this so um this is c d e f and the multiplication would would be like d and e right d and f So you're gonna get D F like that. And then you have two of these. This is C F and E D. And finally you're gonna have uh, another sorry. And this is uh, C and E. So that's the picture. Sorry for this miss. All right. So let's let's uh, think about the running time. So from from this, so we want to multiply A and B, right? And then we. The algorithm would be uh, to so you have a, b, and then you you split them, right? You have c d e f, and then you recursively multiply uh, d f, and then. Uh, E D and then multiply C and F and finally you multiply C and E. Right. And then you need to add them. You need to add them. So the running time will be uh, from uh, for multiplication. Uh, 
of n over 2 with integers and then you have we need to add 4 in n bit integer okay the the the, the first step that uh, you split then you know uh, make uh, do the call that takes uh, o of o of n right and this step take o of n okay but how much time does it take for these four multiplications okay now this is a re recursive call okay so to analyze the running time we we use the technique that we've done many times so we we would define a variable t so let let tn be the the worst case running time for the algorithm when when multiplying n bit integers okay now we have that if you want to multiply n bit integers it takes you four multiplication of n over 2 bit integers so that would take 4 t n over 2 plus o of n so let's write this way some constant times n. okay so it at most this all right now let's try to solve it okay so this is our our uh, recurrence let's try to solve this uh, recurrence using the recursion tree method that we mentioned in class and to, s to see that uh, to, s to see the running time of this divine conquer algorithms so you have tn equals so let's say it's equal all right n over 2 4 tn over 2 over 2 times cn okay so the first level you have n input of size n and then you got to have 4 n over 2 And then the next level you're gonna have n o four for this four n o four. That's a lot. Okay, and this n o four. I'm not gonna write all this. Okay, and so on. Okay, right. And now at each level. Uh, how much do you, we have to pay? So the running time, total running time is the running time for this CN. So let's count it at this point. This is CN and then the rest will be, we take you 4 TN over 2. Okay. Now recursively at this level, you're going to spend uh, 4 N over 4, 4 TN over 4 times. And then you're going to spend CN over 2 at this point so let's try it A and here like recursively you have lower levels but then you have for each sub problem at, at this level you're gonna have c n over four work on it so let's count let's take the sum of all these levels so for this level you have just one guy of course c n now you have four guys of course uh cn over 2 so 4 cn over 2 that's what 2 cn here how many guys do we have we have uh, 16 guys and for each guy you pay cn 
over 4 so 16 times cn over 4 that's what how uh, that's uh, 4 cn and you can guess the pattern okay this is cn this is 2 cn 4 cn so the next level you're gonna have 8 cn and so on okay now uh, how many levels do we have um, for each level we divide n by 2 so uh, the number of level equals the number of times you can divide n by 2 and still the result is larger at least one so the number of level is log base 2 of n right so so let's sum it now it's it's a little bit harder because the the cost per, per level is is not a constant it's not c <coughs> but it's it keep increasing c cn 2 cn 4 cn so <coughs> and in the last level you have log uh, uh, at at the last level how much do we have to pay so it's going to be 2 to the log let's think about n as as a uh, a, pow uh, a power of two, okay. Two to to the log n times c n, and this is equal to two to the log n is n, right? So it's c n square, okay. So let's sum them all, okay. <coughs> so we have that t n equals c. So let's take c out, n plus two n plus. 4n plus 8n plus blah 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 blah. At in the end, you have n square, right? So what is the sum? If you look carefully, then uh, the la largest term is n square. So let's uh, divide them out. So divide out. So it's c n square, and this uh, the last one will be one. Right, and then it decreased by a factor of two. So this is n square. The previous one is going to be c uh, n square over two, right? If you think about uh, backward, okay. So one over four plus. But in the n, you're going to have something like uh, two to the two over n one over. N. So it's the same. Uh, it's the same formula written differently. So, so this sum up. To a constant, it's two, right? So this is O n square. All right. So this divide and conquer algorithm. Uh, okay. So this solve to O of n square. So we do some divide and conquer, and we get the algorithm that with the same running time as as the naive multiplication. So what should we do? We work a lot, right? Luckily, we haven't implemented anything, be but because we we analyzed it, so we know that this doesn't help. In the next clip, we will see how to uh, improve this running time. Thank you.